y'all and welcome to this messy sewing room i'm trying to uh, get the video up to show y'all some fabric choices for some of the aprons um, you saw the taco apron and it's made by the same pattern as, as this one uh, only it's rounded here this one fits a little bit better with the squared off neck but this is my chicken apron that y'all have seen me wear and i do have this fabric available and, and this apron both of these by this style they're reversible the back side is just a plain solid color but you will have two aprons in one so that's what these two are and I don't have much of this fabric but I may have enough for another couple of aprons I'll just have to see the other style of apron this is oh, let me see what the brand is it's an apron that I bought Kate Spade and the reason I bought it was I like the style it's your chef's apron style but what it does it fits any size the straps go through here and come up around your neck and then you just take the ties up until you get it to where you want it and then you tie it on and it is a generous apron that most, I think it's a one size fits all because when I bought this it wasn't in a small, medium, or large. But you can see it comes around on the side. And this is the, the when I do the chef style, what, what I'm calling the chef style apron, this is how your neck strap and all will be. You won't have any ties back here to your neck. You just put the loop over your neck, pull it up until it's where you want it, and then tie it on. So I have several pieces of fabric that I just have enough to make this kind. I don't have enough to make this kind. So this one will not be reversible. It's going to be just a, a one-sided apron. I could make it reversible, I guess. But mo if the fabric is thicker, it's going to be just a, just one side like this one is. But this is the, the chef style with the drawstring ties or this one that I've showed you that y'all have seen me wear. Now I'm going to have, um, I've got some really cool fabric, just a minute and I'll show you. I have this fabric that I'm wearing, and this will be fabric number one. So if you want an apron out of this one, this is fabric no number one with the, um, the off-white background with the roosters on it. Now, I have another one that will be fabric number two. And this is what it looks like. Similar, but it has a blue background on it. And it's a good weight. It is a, it's a very, it's almost like denim. It's a duck cloth. So this is fabric number two, if you want one out of that one. This is a lightweight fabric, but it's lemons on a blue background. Fabric number three. This is a heavier duck cloth type fabric. It's a yellow, but apparently it has a snitch of a, it, it's not a bright yellow, but it has the red roosters on it. And this will be fabric number four. In case you've got people that are not into chickens and roosters and farm life stuff, this is one that I have that's little teapots like Mary Inglebright. It's called a cup of kindness and it has teapots of all different kinds on here and then the words around each one says cup of kindness I don't have a whole lot of that one but I've got enough to make a few then I have several yards of this one that's just a uh, country a pasture with roosters and sheep and ducks and pigs and rabbits and everything in it it's even got your farmer let me see if I can show him oh, it's scarecrow Got that one. I have another. Okay, and that one is going to be the pasture is number six. Number seven is going to be the tea garden, and it's in the pretty green colors, and it has lavender tea on it. Let me see here if I can get it where it shows pretty.
This is a pretty one. Lavender Tea Garden. And the Lavender Tea Garden is number seven. And then I have a whole lot of the black and white toile. And that's number eight. And I had this piece. I don't have a whole lot of this, but I've got a little bit. If you've got somebody that has more Victorian taste, it is pink background with teapots on it. Now, I've got quite a bit of Christmas fabric that I'm going to be doing. I will, um, if I can pull it out here, I'm going to go ahead and show you the Christmas. I have this one. Number 10 will be the, and this is a duck cloth with the poinsettias on it. And the other Christmas is more like a toile. And it's a softer fabric, but it's poinsettia leaves and bells and all, but it's all in the tone on tone, red on white. That will be number 11. And the last one that I'm going to offer right now is this... Uh, it has all kinds of farm stuff on it. And it's a duck cloth. It has a good weight to it. Almost like denim, but if you're familiar with cloth, it is considered a duck cloth. So, there's the, the last one. Now, I've got a lot more, like I said, that I'm going to be making one or two because I've got just that much cloth. This would be number 12. Um, and you can go back and rewind and see what each number is now the way we're going to that we'll have to do this is i've set up an account on paypal it's apron strings and it's on the email that'll be listed below and if you decide which one and which style you want then you can tell me which fabric and which style in an email and i will send you an invoice i'm charging 35 dollars for the aprons but I went to the post office with this one that I had already made and had them to weigh it. And to get the envelope, because I'll have to buy my own padded envelope, and uh, the, the shipping is going to be between 5 and $6, she said, depending on the weight of the fabric. So I'm just going to charge six fifty because I have to buy the envelope too. So your shipping is six fifty, so that's going to make it be forty one fifty for an apron. And I will invoice you and you can pay on PayPal and I'll get it right in the mail. Now, if it's one that I don't have that one made yet, it may be two days before I get it in the mail. But everything is going to have a, a fast turnaround and you'll be able to get them in time for Christmas. I do have a few pieces of fall fabric, but I didn't get them out yet. So if you're interested in fall, let me know. And I'll show you because it's going to be basically one of a kind on them because I had bought several pieces to make me some aprons. So I'll just make them and sell them. So I appreciate y'all for um, ordering from me. I've got one more piece that I didn't show that I only have enough for two of these. It's magnolias. And it'll have to be the chef style because I don't have enough to make uh, the other style out of this but this is such gorgeous fabric huge magnolias on it so if you're interested in that first come first serve I have enough for two other than that um, I guess that's it for today and I will get some of these made and sold and then I will bring out I'll be adding more fabric and um, as I go along maybe at the end of some of my videos I'll say hey I have some more apron fabric and that way you'll know to see if it's something that you would want. So if there's a theme that I don't have here that somebody that you know that you may want to give for a Christmas gift, birthday gift, or just because gift, if, if their kitchen is something different like grapes or wine or, you know, whatever, let me know and I will look for some cloth like that and uh, get you an apron made. I hope that um, I can drum me up some business because I'm looking forward to doing this and getting back in this sewing room and having fun in here because I've been in the kitchen a long time. But I'm still going to be in the kitchen. So I hope that one of these patterns will appeal to you and uh, get back with me. If you, if you don't like the one where the neck strap goes through here, I can put 
ties that you would tie behind your neck and at your waist. If you prefer that, you can tell me that you would rather have the ties. But this is so handy when you don't have to tie anything. You just put this or the strap around your neck and tie it. So let me know what you think, and we'll get busy doing some aprons. The good Lord bless y'all.